And this is our second chicken. Now, if you're operating on a budget, and who isn't, the most economical way to buy chicken is to buy it whole. It also gives you a variety of different meats and textures versus buying a pack of thighs, pack of legs, or pack of skinless boneless chicken breasts. That can be really expensive on your wallet. Here I have a 14 pound bird and we're gonna get eight good size pieces of chicken to eat. And it just takes a little bit of education and a nice sharp knife. These are Kai knives. You can pick these up at Barbecue Pit Stop. And I'm gonna go through this bird and show you how to dissect it. We're gonna end up with two wings, two thighs, two legs, and two large pieces of breasts. Now, those chicken breasts can be cut in half and you can get four pieces of, of white meat if that's your preference. But uh, let's just get started. So we're gonna take our chicken out of our bag. Use our paper towel method so we don't have to chase a chicken around the counter. You know, there's nothing better than a nice sharp knife and there's nothing worse than a bad one, right? So it's great working with good tools. Again, don't wash your chicken, just pat it dry, honestly. I'm gonna reach into the cavity. We're gonna take out the giblets again. Liver, gizzard, heart, neck. We're gonna pull the fat off that's around the south end of a northbound chicken. All right, I'm working with gloves so that can compromise your grip on your knife. Always use a paper towel and dry your hands and gloves so you can have a good grip on your knife. Just a safety tip. Okay, here's how we take this bird and break it down into individual pieces. So follow along. One wing, two wing, leg thigh, leg thigh. Okay, notice this fat seam right here. We just separated our thigh. Fat seam right there, just follow the seam. Chicken will tell you what to do. Two thighs, two wings. Stick the tip of your knife in right behind the joint and just make a downward motion to the cutting table. And again, follow the fat seam. From the joint, there's a line of fat around the rib cage. Stick your knife in. And separate. Flip your chicken over. Careful where your knife is and your fingers are. Make another pass at it. This piece, oh, there we go. Trying to show off. So we're left with one large breast. We're gonna split this in half. We're gonna come up and score the breastbone, pop it with our hands, run our hand down the side of the breastbone hands get a little slimy. Use paper towel. I left a little bit of rib meat or rib bones connected to the breastbone. So we're going to go through that again. Pull the breastbone out. At this point, cut it in half. And there we go. Two, four, six, eight pieces of chicken, a backbone that should be kept for your chicken stock or chicken soup. Don't throw this away. A lot of meat on that. It's great for adding flavor. 
And at this point, we're ready to start seasoning this and take it to the smoker. We're all about the presentation, so we're gonna season the bottom first of our primary cuts, which the breast. And we're gonna be seasoning our chicken today with chicken star. And these breasts are big. I'd cut these in half once they're cooked and get two servings out of each side. Seasoning the underside of the chicken thigh. And then the wings, well, they're wings, so we're just gonna get after them. Pulling the skin back. I don't want to dislodge the skin, but if it gives you the opportunity, just lift it and season under the skin. Now, if this was a competition video and we're focusing on chicken thighs, well, that's, that's a whole different class. Nice. Okay, into the pan they go, out to the Traeger. We're gonna to cook today hot and fast, 400 degrees. Uh, these pieces, some of these will be done in less than an hour. White meat, we want to make sure we're above 165. Dark meat is safe to eat at 165. However, it has a better mouthfeel and a better chew when it's cooked to higher temperature. So for our wings, legs, and thighs, we're just going to let them cook. All right, pretty simple, so let's go. Get ready to put our chicken in. We're going into a Traeger Ironwood 885. We're burning the Papa's Premium Pellets, the competition blend. Great all around pellet for whatever you're cooking. We have it set for 400 degrees. We're going in with our chicken pieces, our whole chicken. That's it, we're gonna let them cook. We'll come back in about 45 minutes and see where we're at.